Hey, this is Paul, and I'm pleased to present to you Trip Advocate, my final project for this semester. It's a website that involves places, users, and those users submitted reviews on those places. So if you know the site TripAdvisor, it's very similar to that. And why Trip Advocate? Why a site about travel and reviews? Well, those of you that know me, you may know I was in the military for a while, and between the time I left and then starting at Rankin, I took some time off to really do some hardcore travel. And I've been a lot of places and had some amazing experiences. The map that's in the top right corner here represents where I've been. Green are countries I've visited to. Purple, which is just China and Greece, those are countries I've had an airport layover. Don't really count. And then orange are places that I've lived for whatever reason, mostly due to military duty. So yeah, I've been around the block a little bit and I'm passionate about traveling, I love it. So it was an easy choice for me to pick this project to do. And I love maps too, I, I just, just can't get enough of geography and maps. So as a junior developer, building something like this was natural and perhaps this will lead to a job at an online travel agency, an airline, TripAdvisor itself, perhaps something like Expedia. Right, so what are the benefits of using a site like this? Well, for me, when I was using it, what I liked about it is that it helped me leverage my time best. I don't like having my time wasted, and it's very likely that some of these countries I've been to, I'll only go to once in my lifetime, and I just have a few days, and I need to make the most of them. So knowing the best places to go to and how to get the most out of the experience, is it's important to know that ahead of time. It's, it's already hard enough to do with the the even with the internet the way that it is but to get some real honest reviews on places that's that's difficult to find because a lot of websites for activities and hotels and all that they're they're salesy and of course they have an agenda they may not be as great as they may seem or they may not even have an online presence so TripAdvisor fills in the gap for sites for for uh, places like this and Two is one of the things that I really liked about using TripAdvisor is that I submitted reviews too. I gave back to the community based on my experience of going to these different places. And because I saw my reviews there and people upvoting them or liking them or asking questions, I know that the site is real and it's genuine and that I can, with a certain degree of verification, I can trust other reviews that I read there and get a consensus on whether a place is worth my time or not and of course this is all to lead up to the end goal of having a, a, a positive memory and a, a shift in perspective that the travel brings about in a way that many other things can't and then creating indelible memories there's just no question that the experiences I've had have been it, it just shaped me as a person and I love it I, I just can't get enough of it so yeah, it was only natural I do a site like this. So let's talk about the site structure itself. Here's what the ERD looks like. It's real simple. There's just three entities. There's places, users, and those users make reviews on places, and that's it. Among users, there's the members and the admins. There's either one or the other, and members are able to create content, just reviews on places, and they can edit and create their uh, edit, create, and delete their own reviews, and they can also register, log in, and admin their own account. And admins pretty much police the website up so they can add places and delete reviews, remove junk content, upload photos, and just make sure the integrity of the website's upheld. Similar websites are TripAdvisor, of course. We've seen that. I've already discussed that. That's been my inspiration for the site. And Less so is Expedia, which focuses mostly on hotels and flights. Some of the features that I'll highlight on the website are the home screen, which shows what the website's about. There's a video on there, how to get started, how to use it for people that aren't familiar with it. And it was also an assignment requirement, so part of the reason I did it. Uh, very nice. And then account management, which is basically the send grid type functions that are allowing users to register, log in, and then reset their email and password all without intervention. By uh, There's no human that's needed, no webmaster, no um, 
per, no admin or help desk needed. It's just done automatically. And then finally, the the core, the essence of what this capstone semester is about is CRUD of creating, <laughs> what does CRUD stand for? Well, I forget. <laughs> Uh, updating, deleting, creating uh, places, and uh, just using that information. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. So let, let's get into it. I'll do a quick demo of the website. All right, let's start by going to the home page. So this is the home page here, and there's a, a video here that, hey, this that is Paul. gives a, a little intro by me and says a few words about the website, and then of course gives the user direction on what the website is and what they can do with it. Let's start by registering for an account. And I'm going to use my Rankin account. The email account is my password, my email address, and the username for simplicity's sake, just to demonstrate how this works. So I've just registered for an account. Now let's, there it is, the email just came in, and we'll confirm the account. Great, so it worked. Now we're verified and we can log in. So let's do that. We'll go to the, the main website and then we'll log in. Yay, we're logged in. So here's the user profile. But I'm going to log in as the admin because the admin has more capacity to do things and for expediency's sake, we'll, we'll do it like that so I can delete users and, and reviews and, and so forth. So this is the profile page which shows the user's initial information, where they're from and name and all that. And these are the reviews that they submitted and on which places and the score that was given. Great. All right, let's leave a review on a place. Let's check this out. How about St. Peter's Square in Vatican City? And we'll add a review here. And we'll say, I'm going to say that I was disappointed. I was disappointed because I didn't see the Pope when there. And then we'll, we'll rate it a one. And then we'll say, I'll try again some other time. All right, let's save that review. And then there's the review that's right there. All right, let's edit that review. We'll edit that and let's change it to a two. I changed my mind. All right, there it is. And now it's been updated to a two. Now, because I'm updated, or I'm sorry, because I'm logged in as an admin, I can also delete the review as an admin. So let me do that. We'll go to this and these are other reviews that are in the database. We'll go ahead and delete that. So we'll delete the view for St. Peter's Square. And now that is gone. How about users? Let's go to users and let's say there's just too many accounts here. Let's get rid of this. Well, let's take a look at this one. All right, so here's some information about that user and uh, we, can, we can go back and I'll just delete them from here. Well, let's say this one right here. We'll delete and we'll confirm it and then they're gone. So, uh, the only other thing that I want to demo first is the, or the, the final thing I want to demonstrate is that there's a search capability. So we can look for something like, uh, let's say Saudi Arabia, see places that are there. Okay. Or let's find uh, stuff that is in, is there anything in France? No, I didn't put anything from there. How about Qatar? I remember that one. So the search capability works and can also filter by different places and we can sort by uh, a different way like by country it just sorts them alphabetically so yeah this is a quick view of review of everything that this website can do uh, for me it's huge this is monumental this was uh, just an incredibly difficult project but uh, very rewarding maybe someday it'll be like TripAdvisor but Thank you all for your attention and see you next semester.